Global teams mean someone's working at any given minute, but it also means someone's offline too. Small teams can easily remember varying schedules and time zones, but as organizations grow, you need a better way to know what everyone's doing. Status messages are an easy way to let team members know why you're not responsive. Here's how to get the most out of a Slack status update with automations that will help you keep your team up to date, even when you're in a rush. To set your Slack status, just open Slack, tap your profile photo in the top right corner and click update your status. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Apple Shift Y on Mac and Control Shift Y on Windows. You can select one of the suggested status updates or create your own. Type in what you're doing and select an emoji that fits. That emoji will now show up beside your name in Slack. Your colleagues can hover over it to see your status. If they search for your name in Slack, they'll also see it, which might just keep them from messaging you if your status is out of the office or in a meeting. You can set how long you want your status to stay up or select Don't Clear to keep it up indefinitely. If you don't select a time for your status to clear, it'll stay at the default today setting, which removes your status at the end of the day. If you often forget to update your Slack status, you can use Zapier to set your Slack status automatically. With Zaps, Zapier's automated workflow, you can connect your calendars, to-do list, and other tools to Slack to make sure your status always reflects what you're doing right now. Let's try automatically setting our Slack status whenever we're attending a Google Calendar event. Pull up the Zapier menu and click the button on the left-hand side of the screen to get started. Because I want Google Calendar to trigger my Slack app, I'll need to use Google Calendar as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Calendar sees a calendar event is about to start, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click Event Start as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up Google Calendar, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Next, we'll need to set up our trigger apps data. Under Calendar, choose the calendar you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Slack into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Set Status and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Slack with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to the forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, type in what you want your away status to be listed as. I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, I am currently away from my computer. Then, under Status Emoji, I'll type in Red Circle. For the expiration time, select Event Ends Pretty under the dropdown, and that should do it. You can also clear Slack statuses. While you could tell Slack to clear your status after a certain time period, say after 30 minutes, or at a specific time and date, you can't set it to do this every day on repeat. These simple but imminently handy zaps automatically clears your Slack status at whatever time you set every day. There's a pre-made zap that can help you get started on this. Click the link in the description to open it up. To start working on your zap, select the trigger and choose the time of day you want to clear your statuses. I'll click 5 p.m. and then I'll click continue. Then I'll click test trigger. And then I'll click continue once more. Once I'm on the action screen, I'll make sure to log into my account and then click continue. Click continue once more, click test action, and you're all set. Changing your status is great. But what if you want to leave your notifications on while getting work done? You might want to update your status to say something like focus mode and use that headphone emoji. But if you're right in the middle of a good workflow, the last thing you want to do is pop in a Slack to update your status and possibly get distracted while you're at it. That's where the Zapier Chrome extension comes in. By installing the extension, you can make a new Zap that starts with a push from the extension as a trigger. Add a Slack set status action step with the emoji and text you want. 
Then, the next time you're working on a task, just tap the button in Chrome and Zapier will update your status for you. You can also update your Slack status from your voice assistant. You can use your virtual assistant to update your Slack status, even when you're away from your desk. Let's set this up with Amazon Alexa. We can use one of the pre-made templates in order to start our Zap. Click the link in the description to get started. To start your Zap, click on the Trigger section of your screen titled Trigger Phrase Spoken in Amazon Alexa. This will open up your trigger. Click Continue and then click Test Trigger to set up your Trigger app. Once that's complete, your action step will automatically open. Select the Slack account you would like to use for your Zap. If it's the first time you're logging in, you'll need to authenticate your app. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. Once you're logged in, click Continue. Under your status text, select Prompt and then type in the status emoji you would like to use for your Zap. I'm going to type in Watermelon. Click Continue and you're all set up. With a few automations, you can tap one button to update your status or let your calendar and other tools do that for you. If you want to learn more about Slack automation and other related topics, you can check out the blog listed on the Zapier website. Click the link in the description.